Um, how do I get involved? I was working with Millen in 2001 and we were at a call centre sitting on the phones and we ended up having a chat about um, what our interests were and we knew that we were reasonably funny. There wasn't a lot of work going on, just a lot of banter between us. Um, and yeah, we pretty much, um, Millen had the idea of doing this comedy show and it was all um, uh, from that basically that we just both went, yeah that sounds cool and then we ended up doing the pilot in 2003, four, 2003 or four, and then um, yeah pretty much went from there and then Millen turned around and said well, once we got the pilot on air with another station which shall remain nameless. Um, then TV3 picked it up and yeah we went uh, whole hog with, uh, with the funding and did what we did with the Bill and Beard show. Oh, I've been treating the boards sort of acting wise for um, I don't know 17 years now um, and yeah travelled overseas and done all sorts of stuff like that but um been involved in uh, theatre sports for many, many years, which is, um, yeah, sort of teaches you the, the basis of comedy, and that's where I sort of learnt um, the hard way, um, and yeah, basically the hard way because you're thrust upon stage in theatre sports, which is whose line is it anyway, that kind of styles, so you've got to be thinking on your feet, and a lot of uh, the Mill and Beard show was, as much as it was scripted, it was thinking on your feet um, and improvisation was key to its success I think. Oh it's great fun, that was probably the, the best scenes were just um, we do uh, you know one scene scripted and then uh, sorry one take scripted and then you know maybe another take scripted and then if we could throw in a third one at the end with just some random banter at the end capture the gold and that's what was a lot of the times used in the cut. Um, ooh, favorite character. I would say um, it's 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 a it's a scary one because the other guys mentioned that you know um, Fussy enjoyed playing Letitia. Um, I don't know what it is, but why do guys like playing women? Weird. But um, yeah, it probably would have been um, Tina. As much as it was scary, um, I remember the first day in the production office when we did a, a makeup test, and there was no mirror in front of me, which was um, that was fine. But uh, this transformation, which I had to uh, undergo 45 minutes in the chair and makeup, and then suddenly I came from what you see now, which was fairly normal, I would surmise, maybe, um, to 45 minutes later. You know, there was giggles going around the production office and there was, you know, people sitting around looking and then looking again and I kind of started to feel a little uneasy and then the wig went on. Um, the big red wig that, uh, that Tina wears. And then I um, was instructed by Millen to go and have a look in the mirror in the bathroom as he was still sort of falling over his feet laughing. And um, I did that and I walked into the men's lose in the production office and I sort of walked in and I sort of went, oh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. But I poked my head around the corner and as I poked my head around the corner I just saw myself in the mirror. It was quite a shock, my heart just sort of jumped out of my throat and I just screamed and saw this woman uh, in the reflection. And that was, um, that was interesting. Um, I couldn't look again until we started shooting. Um, and yeah, but it was quite fun just getting totally out of, uh, out of your own headspace and being a real f little bitch called Tina, who, um, yeah, playing with Mia Blake was, was a lot of fun. Um, we just turned into a couple of bitches, and it was just like, every man's just a dick. And, um, yeah, that was probably the most fun. Um, one of the other ones, uh, in terms of a male uh, character, would have been Ricky. Um, and uh, yeah, Millen was good foil for that. Just a good, 
I think it was a good dynamic of uh, Ricky being the hard-ass bastard flatmate and then Warren just being the sort of, you know, take it up the arse Luther. So, yeah, that was the most fun um, in terms of characters. Um, probably those two and two very different characters. I think a lot of my characters were quite different in terms of um, yeah, who they were and what they did. They would be, um, yeah, some other favourites in terms of, um, yeah, playing out those and also the jockeys were some of the, the funniest moments on set. Um, yeah, the palms, the palms and the jockeys, even though there wasn't much of the jockeys, but I'm sure that'll happen next time. We'll have a few more, uh, more little ditties with the, the jockeys. Um, there's a lot of, uh, material there. Um... Yeah, one of the funniest would have been um, doing a scene with, uh, with Ricky and Warren, the, f the flatmates, and Warren had his good mate over, um, which I'm sure you can see in the outtakes. Watch those, they're good. Um, yeah, so he had his mate over, we were sitting on the couch and they were discussing, um, uh, discussing PlayStation games, and that would have been... Yeah, quite possibly the, the funniest moment in terms of um, corpsing, which is, uh, for those of you that don't know, cracking up uncontrollably during the middle of a take. Um, and Mr. Levy, yeah, came out with some absolute blinders um, in terms of uh, different PlayStation games and, and some of the stuff that was coming out and some of the stuff, uh, I don't know where he gets it from, but um, it was just sitting there and trying to keep a straight face and obviously just losing the guts entirely. And that took about, oh, I think we got up to take 10 um, with that particular scene. And by the end of it, just, um, just hurting.